Hey gang, it's JC. This is your Daily Dose for Tuesday, May 18th, 2010. A cooperative venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. What do you think of the new design, huh? Pretty cool looking website. We've got lots more coming your way. We're going to be adding some new features next week. Archives, top of the page, new features all the time. There's about 10,000 of you watching this thing every day right now. So we welcome anybody who wants to jump aboard. Make sure you tell your friends, people who used to listen to the old show, that we are here at jconthewine.com. All right, the big story today, Rachel Yucatel, otherwise known as Mistress Number One in the Tiger Woods scandal. She was the one that was paid $10 million by Tiger to shut the fuck up, okay? Uh, she's going to do a spread in Playboy. By the way, it will be all TNA. She will not show the promised land. Now, the shoot is supposed to take place in three weeks. According to the contract, she can pull out any time. I think that was the same arrangement that Tiger, <laughs> that Tiger had with her. All right, the 24-year-old winner of the Miss USA pageant over the weekend. Well, it turns out that back in 2007, she won a little, she won a little pole dancing contest that a radio station in Detroit was running. Pageant officials are looking into the matter. Where's the runner-up? Quick, get her on the phone. All right, Kate Hudson. Uh, not a lot upstairs, but a lot downstairs, if you know what I mean. And she will be nude in a new movie called The Killer Inside Me. And in fact, she will be spanked in the movie by Casey Affleck. Where does the line for that movie begin? Lindsay Lohan fell down again, this time at the Cannes Film Festival in France. She is now well on her way to fulfilling a lifelong dream of falling down drunk on all seven continents. If I told you... Kevin Costner bought the farm that would make a lot of people happy. Kevin Costner is somebody either like or really, really can't stand the sight of. And in fact, Kevin Costner did not buy the farm. In fact, he didn't buy it twice. The place where they shot the movie Field of Dreams in Dyersville, Iowa, is up for sale, $5.4 million. It's a huge piece of property where they shot that movie. And twice, Don Lansing and his family, I guess the farm has been in the family for a couple of generations, um, offered it to Kevin Costner. You want to buy it for $5 million? And twice he said no. That was a really stupid move, Kev. You could have... Ah, never mind. Bristol Palin, we have heard, is getting $30,000 per speech. I will give her 40000 just to shut the fuck up. All right, a Delaware man arrested for swinging a hatchet at a Home Depot employee. My question, where the hell did he find a Home Depot employee? I could walk around in the light bulb section for days and not find anybody. All right, Elena Kagan making the rounds, you know, trying to uh, get ready for the big uh, Supreme Court confirmation hearing. She is the latest court nominee, or as Clarence Thomas refers to her, fresh meat. Charlie Sheen is going to do two more years of Two and a Half Men. Rumor is he's going to get about $2 million per episode. Gosh. With all that money and all that fame and everything like that, I don't think that necessarily means he'll get into any more trouble. Uh, all right, uh, somebody tell me this is either a typo or that I'm being punked. Because otherwise, it's one of the signs of the apocalypse. But tonight on CNN, Larry King will have as his guest, Mick Jagger. Researchers in rural Germany have discovered a 28,000-year-old sex toy. A 28,000-year-old sex toy. Eight inches long. It's a piece of stone, polished, smooth, with a ring etched at the top end. Researchers examined it and then returned it to Joan Rivers. I want to tell you about this 81-year-old guy in Croatia. His name is Frano Silak. Frano Silak. Listen to this guy. He has cheated death, not one, not two, seven times. Listen to this. In 1962, Frano was on a train when it jumped the tracks and plunged into an icy river. Seventeen people died, but not Frano. In 1963, a year later, he was thrown from a plane when the door suddenly flew open during a takeoff. The plane crashed. Nineteen people died, not Frano. He, his body, he, he landed on a haystack. 1966, three years after that. Frano is on a bus when it skids off the road and crashes into a river. Four people check out. Not Frano. In 1970, Frano was driving down the highway when his car suddenly burst into flames. 
He pulled over and got out just seconds before the gas tank blew up. He was fine. In 1973, Frano was driving his car when a faulty fuel pump sprayed gas all over the engine, causing fire to shoot out of the air vents. He lost most of his hair, but he survived. In 1995, Frano was hit by a bus. Minor injuries! And in 1997, Frano's car careened through a crash barrier and launched over a 300-foot cliff. Just before it hit the ground, Frano jumped out of the car and landed in a tree. All right, so you're thinking to yourself, that's either the luckiest guy or the most unlucky guy, depending on what your viewpoint is. Five years ago, Frano wins $866,000 in the Croatian lottery. $866,000? That's good! So he's living his life, of, you know, sort of a dream life there for, for a couple of years. And then he decided that the money wasn't making him happy. So he gives all the rest of the money away to family and friends. He only kept enough to cover the cost of a, of a, hip, of a hip replacement. Frano Selak of Croatia, 81 years old. All right, uh, got to tell you about something new that we are going to be starting one week from today, and it's Celebrity Tuesday. You know, over the years, I've had the pleasure and the privilege to uh, meet and, in some cases, hang out a little bit with some of your biggest uh, motion picture stars, music stars, comedians, etc., so forth. Um, sometimes the experience was more pleasant than others, but nonetheless, some good stories to tell. So that's what we're going to do every Tuesday. We're going to uh, go into some great detail about uh, somebody that I spent uh, some time with. And this isn't going to be somebody that I just met for like five minutes and walked away. This will, in all cases, be somebody that I actually spent some time with. So Celebrity Tuesday beginning one week from today right here at jconthelinecom Oh, one other note. Yesterday I told you that we would talk about the NBC fall schedule, but that got blabbed all over TV and all over the Internet and newspapers and everything yesterday afternoon, so there's no story there anymore. However, I can tell you that Fox has unveiled some of its fall replacement stories. The biggest one is American Idol. Of course, there will be no Simon next year, and they haven't announced who Simon's replacement is going to be. They have said, however, that the obnoxious results shows, which are drawn out to just ridiculous lengths, are going to be cut down to 30 minutes. Smart move. Another smart move. The performance shows, in some cases, are going to go to 90 minutes. So that way, Fox doesn't lose any revenue. They just sort of reapportion the time a little bit. So smart move there on the part of the Fox Network. All right, coming out on home video today, Invictus. This is the Morgan Freeman movie with Matt Damon, directed by Clint Eastwood. Uh, you have been told that this is a cinematic masterpiece, one of the best movies of the year. That is not true. Um, is it the worst movie of the year? No, not by any means. But this is just not as good a movie as people are telling you. First of all, it's a little sloppy, and it's way too long. It's two and a half hours, and it's about rugby. So, you know, how good can, how good can it really be? So, uh, <coughs> don't get uh, sucked in on an automatic uh, purchase or rental of Invictus. Is it worth your time? And eh, maybe if you're not doing anything else, the Cardinals get rained out or something like that. All right, uh, one last note here. Somebody is going to be way off on the weather forecast this weekend. Last night I'm watching the late news, and the Weather Channel says Sunday's high is going to be 92 degrees. Sunday, 92 in St. Louis. We're taking the baby to her first ever Cardinal baseball game on Sunday, so we have a little vested interest in this. So Weather Channel says 92. Channel 4 says Sunday's high is going to be 87. Channel 5 says 87. Glenn Zimmerman, Fox 2, says 87. The Lone Wolf, oh, Dave Murray says 75 on Sunday. Who's going to be wrong? We'll keep our eye on it. All right, birthdays today. Tina Fey is 40. Reggie Jackson, the black guy in the Naked Gun movie who didn't chop the heads of two people off, is 64 today. We have new editions of the Wayback Machine with Whitey Herzog. The Video Village features Dick Ford and Deanne Lane from Channel 5 and me and Daffy Duck and Bruce Springsteen. And the guy uh, featured in this thing, Victor, would be uh, would be 91 today. I calculated that. You have to look at it and see what I'm talking about. JC's Eye Candy today, six bizarre braziers. Tomorrow, an obnoxious 9-11 story that's going to make a lot of people mad. And also, trends in porn. Come on back and see us. That's JC's Daily Dose for Tuesday, May 18th, 2010. A cooperative venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. How about this new beautiful site? Ain't it just purdy? In the meantime, we've beaten this one to death. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.